Well, we here in Katsina, we, if we say we are very happy, we are not being honest. We are disturbed with this issue of banditry. Accompanied with kidnapping, raping of innocent women, armed robbery on our highways. Uh, every day we record an incident, one or two. We thank God. Definitely when we compare our situation six months or even last year, we need to thank God that there is some progress in restoration of normalcy in our state. Like we discussed and like I have sw spoken on several occasions, that this issue is everybody's business. It's not only the business of security agencies. It is our collective responsibility to secure our communities and to secure our localities and ourselves. These bandits are people that have been living peaceably with their neighbors. For centuries, Something went amiss, and we found ourselves in this situation. And uh, we must, and we can, overcome this situation and restore normalcy to our communities. But this can only be possible with the cooperation of all and the understanding, especially of journalists, social media operators, and all to understand and appreciate that issue of security is everybody's business. It's not only for those in uniform. Because if we say we are absolutely 100% dependent on the men and women in uniform, how many are they? compared to the population, compared to the vastness of Nigeria, appreciating that they are in every state of the Federation. So we, as a government, apart from conversing for inclusiveness of everybody in terms of uh, the role each one of us can play in, uh, in, in security. As a government, we have also amended our local government laws. We have created three tier security uh, structures in the state, starting from the uh, village to ward and to district level, and then to local government councils level, and then at uh, uh, state level. We have done that in order to give inclusiveness to local leaders of all trades and restore the place and role of Meungwa, uh, the village heads and district heads, the imams, other community leaders, youth leaders, women leaders, to bring everybody on board. and help the security agencies to be able to bring back normalcy. We want the military to go back to barracks. We want the police to assume their responsibility of law enforcement. This can only be done if we restore normalcy to our communities. 
It was done before, it can be done today. I do believe with determination, commitment, perseverance, we can achieve that. Above all, with the understanding of the media, media has a very critical role to play. I know bad news is good news to a newsman. But when it becomes too bad, it smells too bad. And it poison the atmosphere. There are many ways of reporting what is right. And if you know what you are going to report, will create more problem. Why report it in such a way that it will create the problem? We must appreciate the fact that members of security agencies are human beings like us. So they need all the support from each and every one of us to make sure that the operation of restoring normalcy in this part of the country and the other parts of Nigeria are carried out. We have passed the era of blame game. And we have passed the era of media entertainment. No more grandstanding, but doing what is necessary in order to bring back normalcy into our normal life. We had a community living peacefully. Mm -hmm. So we must do whatever it takes to return to normalcy. So that it gives government the opportunity to really do what is supposed to be done. We are very much concerned because the purpose of governance is being seriously challenged. Because the purpose of governance is protecting lives, properties, honor, and dignity of people. So when it's under attack, then the entire system is under attack. So I assure you that we will do the best we can to support the military. And on your own part, from what we have seen, they haven't told us, but from what we have seen, they need logistic support. And where possible, they need numbers. We have moved into the era of technology. This technology you can fight your wars with minimum number of personnel. So I hope that technology will be deployed, properly deployed, so that we'll be able to really bring these banditry activities under control. We are not deceiving ourselves that we will eliminate criminality it has never been done before, cannot be done today, neither can it be done tomorrow. But you can bring it under control in such a way that it does not disturb the way of life of people. As we are seeing today, 10 out of uh, 34 local governments are under severe attack daily, daily. So with that in mind, there is no way we can sleep. Our phones are permanently on. To hear what is happening in local government, AOCOD, is what we have before breakfast, I am briefed as what happened last night. In addition to our own couriers, our own uh, party agents and supporters who call us, 
if their villages or communities are under attack. So generally, we are not uh, in a very comfortable position, but we thank God. Definitely, there is improvement. But we want the situation to be brought under control with the collective support, effort, work of each and every one of us. And I hope the media will graciously uh, support us in this because for you even to report, you can only report if there is peace. So you are welcome to Kazuna once again. And uh, uh, clearly we are getting very old in this business because all the people here, at least 70% of them have crossways in our journey. It's usual after Azuma command also go on the ground to see troops and interact and see what they are doing, appreciate them, appreciate their challenges, even though you know them. But there's always a marked difference when you interact on one to one. And for the troops also to see their chief of army staff, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, it's usual also when you visit a place like this, you must pay honor to who it is due and uh, come to pay homage to the chief security officer of the state, His Excellency, Right Honorable Alhaji Amin Bella Masari, CFR. So that's essentially what brought me, sir come and pay homage. Having entered Kazina yesterday night, before I go, I intend to pay homage also to the Royal Highness, the Army of Kazina, before I go round to the troops, some temporary brigade and the unit, and tomorrow we'll proceed also to Daura to see what we are doing and the troops there, including Port Marbaga to be there. I also intend to pay homage to the Royal Highness of Arabia. Uh, in essence, that what brought me to appreciate and thank you. The truth have always briefed, whether we are here or not, of the tremendous support uh, they are getting from you uh, in terms of logistics, support, equipment, and probably particularly guidance uh, having been the chief security officer here who knows it all, also who feel the pinch, I want to most sincerely appreciate and thank you for all that and to request Your Excellency not to rest, not to relent in hours, but to continue to support us. What we have discussed in the office before coming here was very assuring because, Excellency, not only now, even before when I was with the Formation of Amnesty, we have met several in Pascari and other places, for someone to appreciate and understand also the challenges, even though they are not insurmountable. And what we brought, among other things, is cooperation and synergy with other security agencies and other services that we are doing, and all other stakeholders, including people authority, where we integrate their knowledge and experience on the ground, which are key to our activities.